Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. We're almost home. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Philippians 4.11. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, wherewith to be content. And praise our Father, he's humbled us. And most of us have learned to be content with what we have. Praise our Father in Jesus Christ's name. Now on to the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And these rapture signs are as clear as a bell. And as you can see right there in the Revelation 12 sign, there's an asteroid, what they call an asteroid, named a bell. And when you look up the meaning of a bell in the dictionary, the meaning is as clear as a bell. And, and this heavenly billboard, this sign, he just keeps making it clearer and clearer, family. And a bell is also known as 3449 a bell. How much more clearer could he make it? 3449, the definition is toil, hardship, usage, wearisome labor. And she being with child cried in pain to be delivered. And this is gigantinormous. Just a couple days ago, an astronomer discovered this comet. And it's right there. Comet 2023, Nishimura. And what I'm about to show you, what God showed me, is truly amazing. And his sign speaks for itself. And it's this new comet, Nishimura. And most of us watchmen already know that Job 38, 31 has something to do with the rapture. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion? The cords of Orion, like the umbilical cord? And it's not a coincidence. It can only be God's odds that this comet was just discovered and it happens to be in the woman during the Revelation 12 sign. And I'm going to show you exactly what happens. And I'm going to take you back to the beginning of Hanukkah last year, December 18th. And you can see this comet is headed towards the constellation Orion. And I believe, and you'll see it, that our father used this comet to loosen the bands of Orion. As you can see, the comet goes right across the bottom, right across the star Rigel, and makes a complete circle all the way around Orion. And passes Betelgeuse right when summer started. Then this comet goes past the Gemini twins and what they call cancer and speeds up. Flies by Leo and flies right into the woman. Now check this out. On the 20th, I'll zoom in so you can see. When you go through the hours, you could see the comet approaching the square of the woman's body. And on the 20th, it crosses the line. And I'll go through the hours so you can see. It slides right out on the 22nd, the last day of summer. And we already know that he is going to raise us up on the last day of something. And by the 23rd, this comet has went through the woman. And when you look up the meaning of this astronomer's name, Nishimura, it actually means to go west, and that's which way the comet's going. It goes into her stomach through the west and comes out through the south. And I'll walk you back through it. As you can see, as you go through the days, the comet is headed west. And then it makes a hard turn and busts left and comes out of her. By the 23rd, family... This new green comet is out of the woman. And hopefully we'll be out of this world. With our Father and the Son, Jesus Christ, together in the kingdom of heaven. And there's a lot of people doubting this sign, even brothers and sisters. Especially the younger generation. I made this page on TikTok so I could reach them. And I get it on YouTube too, but it's worse on TikTok. And doubt is the opposite of faith. Doubt is a sin. And you guys already know, before I do the video, after I pray, 
I asked Jesus Christ to give me something in his word when I open the Bible. And then I read the first thing I see. You already know, I've done it many times. And today it was Acts chapter 7, verse 52. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which shewed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. And if you remember Christina's dream, 725 was there, but no one could find 811. Well, on 725, our father showed me the asteroid child, and I dropped the video on 726. And then on 811, he showed me that the asteroid Ravel, that means trumpet blast, wake up, was on the eagle, Aquila, on one wing, and my last name was on the other wing. And 40 days from 811 is the Revelation 12 sign. If you count 811 and you count 919, it's 40 days. So I've seen tons of comments doubting this sign. And many of them are saying, this happened in 2017, the same thing. Well, that's the farthest thing from the truth that there is. In 2017, it was just Jupiter when the woman was clothed with the sun and the moon was under her feet. So praise our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. He's got our backs. Everybody that's awake that knows that this is the Revelation 12 sign, our Father just proved it by letting Nishimura discover this green comet that looks like a torch flying through the heavens straight into the Revelation 12 sign. All glory to our Father. It looks like he's saying, what Patrick is telling you is true. And he's pointing it out. This green comet preparing the way for Jesus Christ, lighting the way, is pinpointing and exposing the Revelation 12 sign. It's confirmation. It's his signs. This is his heavenly billboard. This is how he's lighting it up and getting everyone to focus on the Revelation 12 sign. And if this comet is visible, like they're saying in September, when you look up in the heavens at night, you will see right where the Revelation 12 sign is. It will be right in the woman. You'll be able to see it right next to Spica. It's our father lighting it up. And he also discovered an asteroid and it's named Nishimuru after him also. And it's also known as 6306 Nishimura. And when you go to Bible Strong's Concordance for 6306, the definition is redemption. And no joke, this asteroid that has the same name as this comet is in what they call Sagittarius, right next to the asteroid Jerusalem. And remember, this comet that looks like it loosens the bands of Orion is right in the woman on September 19th on the Revelation 12 sign during the summit. The Agenda 2030 Covenant, the seven-year covenant with many at the United Nations. And as you can see right here, it says peace and security. And when you go to the original Greek, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, the word says, when they say peace and security, sudden destruction will come. And when you look down below, you can see that it says SDG 16 Conference 2023, May 30th and June 1st in Rome. And you can see the list of countries underneath that. Ukraine, Sudan, Libya, Syria, Yemen. Those are all the countries that are getting blasted and destroyed. And as you know, and should be telling everybody, the next one is on September 19th. Like I said, the SDG Summit. Agenda 2030, the seven-year deal. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ. If you've been listening to my videos since the beginning of the year, I've already talked about it. On video, at the beginning of the year, because all year long, I've been hearing in the Spirit, green means go, green means go, green means go. And he's been confirming it visually over and over and over. 
He's coming immediately. And a month is going to fly by. And I showed you this year on April Fool's Day was the 6th annual Obama Gala. And the next Obama dinner is tomorrow, August 19th. And they're calling it Rise Above. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. Are you awake? Can you see what's happening here? Obama's having a dinner called Rise Above. Right after his last one, the transformation. And for everyone that's asking, oh, does this sign happen again like this next year? This sign never happens again, ever. We are in a jubilee year. The child is going to be born. Ask yourself, when's the next time that the United Nations is going to do a seven-year deal on the Revelation 12 sign? Well, even if they do, the asteroid United Nations will not be there next to the child. I've looked 50 years ahead, family. This picture has never been painted before and it will never be painted again. Why? Because it's time to go. Green means go. And I got the Holy Spirit all over me. Holy bumps, hair standing straight up. Praise you, Father, in your name, Jesus Christ. As you can see right here, Deborah Gordon emailed me yesterday and the new moon was confirmed and the shofar went off. It was confirmed over Jerusalem at 750 by Hannah. And Hannah means the grace of God. Favor or grace of God. And Hannah was the mother of Samuel. And remember, it was confirmed at 750. And when you go to Strong's Greek, the definition is chief shepherd. There's one occurrence in the whole Bible, and it's 1 Peter 5, 4. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. So it's obvious that our Father is giving us the heads up in this new comment. They're saying it will be visible with the naked eye in September, right when it goes into the Revelation 12 sign. And I've went over it, but I keep seeing these comments, honestly wanting to know, where is the crown of 12 stars? I ask because I know Revelation. What am I missing? So I'll make it quick. More than likely, the 12 stars are representing the 12 tribes of Israel. And there's 12 new Virginie stars on her head. And there's 12 stars in the constellation they call Leo, the lion. In 2017, they said that the 12 stars were the stars around what they call Leo, as you can see right here. And they have what they call Venus, Mars, and Mercury as the 10th, 11th, and 12th star. And you can see the same thing right here. The constellation Leo has nine stars, with Mercury makes 10. 52 Leonis makes 11. And Iota Leonis A makes 12. But just like in 2017, these stars aren't even by her head. They're a whole different constellation that's bigger than her head. But there's 12 Virginie stars on her head. As you can see right there, one Virginies, two Virginies, three Virginies, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So there's a crown of twelve stars, family, and they're always on her head. They never move. And if you run those dot to dot, they're going to look more like a crown than any other thing else. So now you know that the crown is not the constellation Leo. It's obvious. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. And the 12 Virginie stars are on her head, family. The size of a crown. These can only be God's odds, family. There's an asteroid, Brixia, coming out with the child. And as you can see right here, Brixia, derived from the 
word brick meaning a high point or rise. And I'm telling you right now, the dead in Christ are about to rise. And right next to her shoulder is the asteroid Kelvala, 1454 Kelvala, a waking up, resurrection. You can't make this up, family. Right behind the asteroid child is the asteroid Mentha, 1078 Mentha. And when you go to Strong's 1078, the word is Genesis, and it means birth. And as you can see right there, there's another asteroid called Catgirt. And when you look up the meaning of Catgirt, it means pioneer, helper. And it's also known as 6750 Catgirt. And when you go to Strong's, the definition is to tingle, quiver. And right at the top, you could see 1 Samuel 311. And the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both the ears of everyone that heareth it shall tingle. And these are not coincidences. The asteroid Mentha, remember it was 1078 Mentha, and it means birth? Well, Catgirt, also known as 6750 Catgirt, is 1078 too, and means birth. And I showed you the asteroid that they named after Ukraine is there. And the asteroid Crimea is there. Both the places that Russia attacked and invaded. And the asteroid America is in the picture too. Imagine that. I know you could put that together. And remember, I showed you this new comet, Nishimura. It crosses the line into the woman on September 20th, 920. And on that same day, there's an asteroid called 920, Rogeria, in the picture. And the biblical meaning of Roger is spear, fame, renown, lance. Famous spear. And when you go to Strong's 920, the definition is the son of Jonah, Peter. And the asteroid Herluga is in the picture. And Herluga means blessed. And the asteroid Zakiah is in the picture. And the definition is pure. And the asteroid 8 is in the picture, right by Spica. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, to devour her child as soon as it was born. To eat her child. And that's what eight means. And this is gigantinormous. The asteroid Cassandra is right down there by Yeshua and Miriam. Which was Mary's original name. And Moses' sister's name. That helped deliver the baby from the Nile River. Moses. And Cassandra. The definition is shining upon men. And one who fills men with love. Imagine that. Let that sink in. And speaking of love, there's an asteroid called Lava. Right in the woman, right by her heart on the Revelation 12 sign. And Lava is 868 Lava. And 868 in Strong's Greek is to lead away, to depart from. Leave. And there's an asteroid called Yahagi right in the mix. And it's also known as 4941. Yahagi, like Yah, Yahuwah, Yahshua. And 4941 in Bible Strong's Concordance in Hebrew is judgment. And in Greek, it's happy event. And we're about to go to the happiest event ever in history, the marriage supper of the Lamb, fam. All glory to you, Father. Thank you for Jesus Christ. And if you're wondering if you're going to make the rapture, it's real easy. The only way you're going to make the rapture is if you have the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit, you're golden. Just like this asteroid, right in the mix, in the Revelation 12 sign, asteroid golden. And again, if you have the Holy Spirit, you're golden. That's your ticket out of here. Quench not the Spirit. Romans 8, 11, if you have the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from death, he'll quicken your mortal body and give you life and you'll be immortal. And it's all about Jesus Christ, the chief shepherd that shall appear. And as you can see right there by her crown is the asteroid Boyer. And Boyer means bow maker, cattle herder. And it's asteroid 1215 Boyer. 
And in Strong's Concordance, the definition for 1215 is to deliver a public address. And that's what I'm doing. All glory to our Father. The kingdom of heaven is near. And on the Revelation 12 sign right next to the moon is Pavo, Nermi, also known as 1740. And in Strong 1740, the definition is to glorify. And that's what we're doing. All glory to you, Father, for showing us your signs and letting us know the time is short. The time is up and you're coming to get us. Thank you. And Pavo is an Estonian and Finnish. And we're about to finish the race. It's a Finnish given name. And it means Paul, like the Apostle Paul. And Nermi is finished too, and it means lawn or pasture, Psalm 23. And there's so much more. And if I have time, I'll put it all together into one picture for you, family. But it's really irrelevant because we're going home. So I'll wrap it up with the last asteroid. There's much more, but I'll give you one more before I go. The clave. And the meaning of that clave is... More glory. And it all goes to you, Father, the Most High, and your Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ's name. And I love you, family. Keep your heads up. It's almost over.